<sighs> they had to smash everything in that place just so we see their pathetic message. Now, what are you doing with that? Oh, it's ruined, darling. Bin day tomorrow. No, no, no! <sighs> All the things they could have damaged. Can you put another dead boat on the inside, dear, please? <sighs> The police have already been round. Yeah, fat one good they did. Nish left a message on the bar, clear as day, and they wouldn't even get out of their panda car. I don't need you starting a war with the neighbours, all right? It's over. Just leave it alone. Here you go. <clears throat> you, um, Linda's mum? Elaine Peacock. Did you see you in the square earlier? Bit of trouble by the looks of things. Oh, bailiffs I can handle. Um, did I hear right that this place got smashed up? I ban Nish Panasar. Next thing you know, we get done over. Coincidence? Probably not. But um, I would be careful you say that too. Because I work for Nish. And he's capable of smashing up more than a barn. Look, man like that doesn't scare me. <sighs> Good for you. You know, between us, it's about time someone around here had the guts to stand up to him. to your hand. Elaine Peacock, new landlady at the Vic. I don't think we met. But you know who I am. Don't you, Vinny? I, uh, I got into some trouble at a party and I had to defend myself. That's all. Elaine. Hmm. I, um, I hope I didn't give you the wrong impression earlier, you know, with what I said. You only confirmed what I already knew. Um, Panazars are our landlords and they keep pointing up the rent. And, well, you saw what happened this morning. I blamed them. And so I was trying to stir up trouble. But the truth is that Nish is actually quite a decent bloke and Vinny wouldn't harm a fly. Vinny trashed my pub with my little grandchildren asleep inside. You don't have any evidence of that. I think if the police had found anything, Vinny would be in a cell by now. I couldn't be what you needed then. And if I don't talk about him, about Mick, that beautiful, lovely man, it's because it's too painful. And all this putting on the strong front, it's not about me. It's about protecting you like Mick did all those years. He was my rock when your dad died. Perhaps this is my way of paying him back. And that's why I risked everything to bring you here. Why I trashed my friendship with Sharon. No one understands what I've been through except you. And if I have to run this pub with anyone but Mick, it could only be with you. Just promise me that you'll put this thing with Nish to bed. All right, from now on, me and you are a team. <laughs> You're a tonic, you really are. And I need one after the day I've had. Oh, nothing. Just a few locals need putting in their place, that's all. The sooner you're here with me at the Vic, the better. <laughs>